Hi everyone. So in this video, we're going to go through exactly how to set up your website, email, and uh, your server. Very simple. Uh, if you can basically make a Facebook account, you can do this. Uh, so on the screen here, we have some to-do lists. So we're going to choose a domain name. We're going to create a professional email address. So that's going to be, you know, info at, or, you know, maybe your name at your uh, domain name. Again, I'll show you that in this video. Uh, and then we're going to select easy WP server size. So uh, I know that might sound like absolute nonsense right now. Easy WP is basically a service that makes it very simple to create a WordPress website. And we're going to need that WordPress website to import the, um, the DIY website. So I'm actually going to go through this with you. I'm going to create an account. Uh, I'm going to buy a domain name, I'm going to buy a easy WP server and just show you how simple it really is. So we'll go ahead and go to a website called namecheap.com. So I find namecheap.com probably one of the better uh, domain name kind of websites and they also come with a lot more features that we can easily add on to that domain name. So like website hosting, email, all the rest of it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up. So the top left hand corner, you can click sign up. So I'm going to make a username. So, um, uh, set a password. Okay. Okay, that looks good to me. So I'm going to create an account. Okie doke. So now we'll create an account. All we need to do now is go at the top left to click domains. So in domains, this is going to be your your website domain. So this might be, you know, uh, Ryan's Fitness or, you know, healthcare or whatever it is. So I'm actually going to do, uh, I think it's uh, my DIY.site is going to be the domain name I want to buy. So you'll see all the different things come up here. It gives you more options, but maybe you want, you know, .com. You can type that in there. Obviously, this has been registered before. So but I'm going to do .site. Uh, if you want .co.uk, .com, you know, .ie, wherever you are in the world, uh, just type it in here. And if it's available, you'll be able to purchase it here. Uh, there's actually a wee discount code today, so we'll be able to use that. Very good. So I'm going to add my DIY.site to my cart. Okay. I'm going to go to down the right hand, uh, bottom right hand side and click checkout. And in the cart, we're actually able to add a few things in here. So first, I'm actually going to use that promo code in here. So site blog 20. I'm not entirely sure if this will still be active when you're um, going through, but it, it um, you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and add a few things to this um, domain. So I'm going to go for a professional email. So I'm going to add that. Gonna go down a wee bit more. Uh, that looks good to me. So the professional email, where is that? Doesn't seem to be adding to my order. Anyway, I know exactly how to add it to um how to add it to the site as as soon as we get through. So don't be, don't worry if that doesn't add to your order, order straight away. So we can just confirm that. So get find. Nope. Oh, I see. Okay, that all looks good to me.
Okay, that looks good to me. I'm just going to save that configuration. So now just enter your billing details and check out. I'm actually going to use PayPal. Okay, that looks, looks, looks like my order is now processing. So we're just going to wait until that finishes uh, and then get on our way with creating our email and our website. Okay, so we just exit out of that. Thank you for your purchase. So that's my domain name there. So my DIY.site. So I'm going to go ahead and click on manage. So on the right hand side here, I just click manage, the big red button. And that brings me to my account and then on the left hand side it says domain list you can click on that uh, and then you'll be able to click on your domain so i'll actually do that for you so you can see here my uh, domain name you can manage your website in here so say you maybe you don't want this anymore you can you can just unclick auto renew and that means when it expires because we've obviously bought this for one year so every year it'll automatically uh, renew for you um but if you don't want that anymore just click on uh, auto renew and then off so we're going to click on my diy.site and then manage okay so we're going to actually add a few things in here so where it says private email down the bottom here we're going to click buy now and there usually is a free month trial if there maybe oh there is yeah so there's a trial here so if you just click on the wee trial button on the left or top left uh, we can just go for a starter email so that gives us one uh, free uh, mailbox and five gig of emails and two gig for files but you know it's really the email that we're looking for uh, because that's going to give us you know ryan at uh, my diy site so get email uh, purchase no use a domain I own yes so use a domain I own with Namecheap I'm gonna click on that so I'm gonna type in the list oh there's it there so I can just click on select continue so there's gonna be one mailbox chosen that's fine so I'm gonna add the cart There we go. So we're just going to confirm that order. It is a free order at the minute because obviously it's just a two month free trial. So I've read the terms and conditions, of course. So that's just processing the order now. So that's uh, pretty simple. Oh, I'm going to click something there. So there's the starter email added to my site. <clears throat> now on the right hand side, I can click create mailboxes so i'm going to click create mailbox so don't worry about any of this this will be all done for you so down the bottom right hand side it says create mailbox so i'm going to create ryan at my you can kind of see there at my diy dot site i'm going to create a um Okay, save changes. And that's as simple as that. That's your email um, created. And we can, I'll go and uh, see if I can go into the webmail. So on the way drop down there, you'll see open webmail. That means you can open your uh, email, just like you know, if you go to mail.gmail.com. So this is where you actually log in, which is called privateemail.com. <clears throat> so if I go Ryan at, <clears throat> sorry, I've lost my voice. Ryan at my DIY.site, type in my password.
Easy login. Exit that. And we can, all our inbox will be in here. And that's as simple as that. Now there is probably some place uh, to get the details so you can link this to your phone as well. So it makes it a lot easier. But in the future, we'll probably be using uh, those that login information on our website so we can send uh, invoices and all the rest of it from our uh, from our website through our uh, new professional domain name. So that's the domain bot. So I'll actually go back to my uh, to-do list. So that's the chosen a domain name, done. And we've created a professional email address and we've also logged in to see the webmail. So that's exactly where all your incoming and outgoing mail will, will uh, come and go through. So all good there. Now we're gonna select uh, what easy WP server size. So we're now gonna get into creating the actual uh, base website where we can import the DIY website into. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna link in the description. So it's gonna be easywp.com. And what we're gonna do is go to the top right hand corner and we're gonna click login. Now easywp.com is uh, a Namecheap company. So we're just gonna log in with our same Namecheap account. So where it says log in with Namecheap, just click there. That will redirect to Namecheap because we've just logged in and then probably redirect us back saying, you know, uh, you've already got an account basically. So what we're gonna do now is uh, create a new website uh, and click Turbo. So at the minute, the plans are very, very cheap. So this is actually only gonna cost me two cents for the first month. Or if you feel like you're gonna be using this for a while, I would recommend you clicking bill yearly because it's gonna only cost you 26, uh, dollars and 88 cents for a full year of uh, hosting. Uh, it will renew at around 60 after that. Uh, do not click the starter uh, version, only click either the turbo or supersonic. If you feel like you're gonna have a lot of traffic, click on supersonic, it's, it's not a lot more money, uh, but I would definitely recommend you choose uh, the turbo one at least. So I'm gonna click bill monthly because this is only a test account for me. Uh, and setting up. So what we're gonna do is gonna go continue. Your domain name on Namecheap, because we've just bought that. And this is how simple it really is. We're gonna go click there. You can see the drop down, my DIY.site, click it and continue. So your website will be live at my DIY.site. Your subscription will be uh, easy WP Turbo at least, because we're on top of that, we're gonna need an SSL certificate, and that'll become a lot more apparent in a future video. Uh, it's very simple. It basically makes it secure. So continue to purchase. I'm gonna have to shell out two cents here for this. So my, uh, what am I gonna go? I'm gonna add a PayPal account. Okay, that looks like it's went through. So it's gonna start creating the website now. This might take around 15 or so minutes, but that's you, that's, that'll be you having your DIY website ready. So it says it's ready right now. So maybe, maybe it is, it's very, very quick. No, not just yet. So it does take about, I would say 15 minutes. If you just leave it, leave it be, uh, it will, uh, be available online for you to see. So following this, uh, this well, straight after this, uh, we'll show you how to purchase the DIY website and import it into your new uh, Easy WP website. Right, okay, so on top of uh, while your website is um, loading in the background, um, you're, you might get an email that says immediate veri verification required for your domains. All you need to do is go into that email, make sure all the details are right. Uh, and then we'll go down, we'll see our site name there. Yeah, that's no problem. So what we're gonna do now is click here to verify your email address and agree to the registration agreement. So that's all we're gonna do, click there. So registrant has a email address verified. That's all good. And that should be it. 
uh, it it sometimes does differ if you're from if you if you're going for like a a .co .uk domain name sometimes you have to make sure your uh your address is from the UK because that is obviously a, a country specific um domain name anyway so we'll wait until that all goes through uh, and then our website should be live and then we'll get to importing the DIY website that uh, you purchased from the website. Right, okay, so it's been about 30 minutes or so since uh, I verified my domain name uh, to my email address. So the site is now live, which is great. So this can take, uh, run from about 30 minutes, but sometimes if something goes wrong uh, on the domain side of things, it can take a day for things to get registered. It did just say in that email, so I thought I'd uh, flag that just in case something went wrong. But usually this only takes about 30 minutes. So what we're gonna do is gonna have a quick look at the website. So here it is in all its glory. So it's obviously not much at the minute, but this is the base WordPress site that we need to import. Well, we need this core you know, website to import the DIY website on top of, uh, and then start making our, our changes and you know getting you on your way. Uh, but just before we start that import, one thing we do need to do is go back to EZWP and click on the card itself. Uh, one thing we want to add is an SSL certificate. So we want to manage, just click on manage uh, and click add. So with the turbo section or turbo uh, EZWP subscription, you get a free SSL certificate and it is very important if you're going to take payments online or even have a, a website at all. It's, you know, it's 2020 at the minute. You need a secure website. So all you need to do is click free positive SSL, click there and click change. So you let that load. Sometimes this can take a, a, a small while. So while we're activating, <coughs> activating uh, this can take a few hours, but um, we can just leave it at that. So uh, once that activates, we'll go to the next step, which is importing your DIY website onto your newly created WordPress website. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I've uh, enabled my SSL certificate. So that's the secure uh, certificate, SSL certificate here. Uh, and it looks like it's been added. You can kind of see there, now it's active. So that's all good. So we'll head back to our site and just see what that looks like. So a link directly to our site. You'll, you'll now find at the top left here that you get a connection is secure and it comes with a HTTPS. So that's all good. We need that for our uh, website going forward. So on top of that, you will have gotten a email from EZWP and that gives you your site name, uh, your WordPress dashboard and your username and password. So you, what you want to do is log in hitting your uh, WordPress dashboard. So that's always going to be slash forward slash WP dash admin. So we'll uh, click that and log in. Uh, now I'm just going to pop this over on the screen and use my username and password to log in here. Okay, once logged in, this is what you should see. This is the admin area to your website. And there's a few things we need to do just to make it uh, ready for us to import the. Uh, so first of all, we're just going to exit and dismiss those. Uh, and one thing I actually like to do just with a new website is remove all the screen options here because I think they're useless. 